Hello YouTube, how you doing? Just Stroyer here, giving you another video for Heroes of Order and Chaos. And today, I am bringing you the end game build. Yes, y'all ask so politely, I'm bringing it early. Melina Spellman. Now, I know there's an update coming and she is going to get a reworking soon. But y'all really, really want one, so I'm bringing it out. Melina is an OP carry mage, and let's get into her input and my recommended in-game build. So I'm going to give you a little bit different critiques on her. So first off, I always start off, Squire's Wisdom gives me that magical attack I need, plus that extra damage that I very very much need so after this I want to start building one of two ways if I'm in lane on rift or we're in train if I save up enough money I would rather go straight in Channer's ring damage this is good but if you don't have that much money and you want to start building a bit more safer go ahead and start building the Leviathan cloak the Leviathan cloak the reason for this it gives us that extra extra magical pierce to help us get in there and get our enemies you know proc that stun our slow on proc them and then use our first skill to just annihilate them after that i typically buy boots of haste go straight damage enchanters this is the best way to start building and after that i go secondary enchanters Yes, there we go. We got an extra 180 damage. This is going to proc well with our tablets as well as with her. So after that, we're going to go ahead and sell this Squires because it's definitely needed. And we're going to go not with a, uh, yes, yes, sorry. With the Necromancer's Passion, this is just going to give us that extra attack. And then we're going to increase that into the Arrogance Cloak. This will increase our pierce as much as possible. Now, let me get in here and uh, tell you this. It depends on how our enemies are at this point and if we're controlling the game. But if I have a main difference that's uh, a lot of physical attack and they're getting in there, getting me stunned, getting me silenced, whatever, I need to go ahead and start building HP as well as physical defense. So like I said, if you're doing physical defense, go ahead and start building in the Hades by getting some HP, which would be a Cloak of Dragon's Blood. If not, and like I said, if not, you have a lot of magic damage on the other team, such as Melina, and she's being a pain, a pain, a pain. We're going to go ahead and start building into the Common Cloak, and the reason we're going to do this is because we'd ultimately do the... La blue la, if I said that correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that climbing cloak like we were talking about. And then, because say there's that Melina on the other side. After this, we're going to go ahead and upgrade our Boots of Haste. I really like it to get into the Firewalkers. Now, you can go ahead and increase it into a Boots of Tempest. But I like that little bit of extra damage. So we're going to go ahead, get those Firewalkers. After this, sell our second Squire's Wisdom. Get a Staff of Exaltation. Now, if you don't remember what the Staff of Exaltation is, it gives you 400 extra MP, which is not precisely needed with Melina, but it's going to be needed for our Searing Orb to increase our max maximum damage and increase it all the way to our output which we need after this we're either going to finish off the uh, bone flame wand or start building more HP which I suggest is going more of the HP route so we're gonna start building in that way so we're gonna grab max HP cloak of dragons blood go ahead and throw it out there Oop, bag is full don't want to throw two but after we get that Cloak of Dragon's Blood, we're going to go ahead and start getting in and building the essence of La Blula because we need that extra magical defense. Like we said, the we have uh, a, a Melina on the other side. So this, the reason for getting this is because when you activate it, 
it gives me a slow to kind of push the fighters back or you know get the people away plus the poisonous nova of uh, this gives me an extra you know 200 damage or more that's what's good about this as well as the magical defense and the CD cooldown you can't go wrong there now after that if I need defense we're gonna build straight into the uh, steering souls of dragons uh, so we'll go ahead and do that and after I build in the steering souls of dragons we're gonna go ahead and finish off the enchanters ring uh, and enchanters ring into the bone flame one just to maximize our attack we're not doing it for really anything else just to maximize our attack now guys if you want to build her a little bit more speed you can take the bone flame wand out and substitute it for something completely different which sometimes I like to do which would be the lollipop you can do that and also if you want to substitute the essence and just go without defense it's very risky a little bit more squishy but you could also switch it out with the helm of divine favor so right after this tell me what you think of this build first off and right after this I'll have the recommended tablets that I suggest and in the description below the recommended talents that I love using with her so guys thanks for watching as always and I'll see you in the next episode destroy her out hey guys and gals some tablets that I suggest for Molina's Bellman yeah um, what I suggest first off let's talk about uh, inscriptions I really like pierce through magical defense with her because she is a heavy carry mage hero of course also I really like HP with her it's very big supportive in the give her you know one or two extra hits in the beginning really highly adapted so first off I uh, the tablet I always play with her must have is the elder tablet this makes her so much more defensive as well as tanky because we want to put as much magical attack on her as possible as well as pierce so elder tablet really love it also one tablet i highly suggest is the tablet of bloodlust now this as i've always told you all could increase up to 27 percent give you a tremendous boost off of your allies as well as your enemy heroes give you that damage that is necessary and of course always the tablet of assistance tablet assistance very good for her to support your team but can be switched out as well as the tablet of bloodlust and let me give you some other recommended tablets first recommended tablets that i really love using with her the courage tablet awesome about her being stunned reduces the damage taken in by a lot very very good with her if you need a little bit more extra defense from her also a couple other uh, one other tablet that I highly suggest is the tablet of desecration this is awesome with her I uh, really like using it with her as well the protective tablet now I like using this very early game and if you use it both with the elder tablet the protective elder is a great combo in keeping that extra defensive block for you running away or in team fights getting that save so if you want to go more defensive this is the way to do it also I have a couple second airy recommended and I remember I said that secondary recommended um, the tablet of toxicity now I know right now and this might change later but Melina is very targeted so this will some extra damage from the people who are targeting you pretty good awesome as well as if you use you know the snake tablet very awesome with her as well so guys Tell me what you think about the build. I'll put the recommended talents in the description below. And I will see you out in the Battle of Herodon. Please like, subscribe, share, destroy her out.